Okay, so it is actually snowing again today. I don't know if you guys can see through the back, but it is snowing for like, what, the eighth time this year, which is insane for Seattle. But it's nine o'clock right now. I'm outside TJ Maxx, just got some Starbucks because I had my migraine appointment with the neurologist at 7.30 this morning. So I went there super early that took like an hour and then I went to my p.o box picked up a bunch of packages and now i'm hitting up tj maxx just for a little bit and then i'm gonna go back and work and film and get some stuff done i just picked up a cheese danish from starbucks i don't really need anything at tj maxx you know those days when you just feel like strolling the aisles that's kind of what's happening actually one thing i do need is a new pillow for my seat right here i'm 411 so Every car I've ever driven, I've had to like sit on a pillow, and this one's getting a little flat, deflated, so I want to get like a bigger one so I can be, uh, you know, alert and over the wheel. I'm home. I only got a couple things from TJ Maxx. A couple things I actually needed once I realized and saw them. I found a thank you note, so I got these really cute little cactus thank you notes. I just like putting these in like giveaway things. So like you guys probably saw, there were some actual good like makeup items there. They had a four pack of Real Technique sponges. I don't need any more sponges so I didn't get them, but I did get these two Japanese brushes. It says must have baking brush duo. For the two brushes it was 10 bucks. Birds are going crazy. This one looks a lot like the Morphe brush I keep trying to find a dupe for, so I picked those up to see. I was out of my Dr. Bronner's. This is what I clean my makeup brushes with, and they had this little set for 10 bucks. You get two of them, a lavender and a peppermint. The pepper one smells so good. You can use these on your body uh, dishes, I think. I've never used them on dishes, but I'm pretty sure you can. This is like an all-purpose kind of soap. These studs, I've been meaning to pick up new second hole ones. I don't know if I'm going to put these in the second or first hole, but they had these cute... So those are sterling silver, $12.99. They're like these little square ones, which I thought were really pretty. I got a couple birthday cards for people, which I'm not gonna show in case they're watching this. And then I just picked up a couple gift bags. I always have gift bags on hand because then you don't have to get them when you actually need them. And if you see one that like you think someone would like, I just pick it up. These are both $1.99. Then I went to the grocery store. So I might as well do a little grocery haul. I usually just Amazon fresh things. So whenever I go to the grocery store, it's like, a bigger trip because I can find things that aren't on Amazon Fresh. So I'm just gonna try and roll through this pretty quickly. I've never tried these. These are black bean habanero little uh, snap pea crisp things. Cauliflower rice vegetable. This one actually has lemon and garlic in it. I usually get the Trader Joe's one. Gardein crispy tenders. These are just like veggie chicken strips. Some cheese. This Tillman's cheese, by the way, is the best Mexican cheese ever. Wow, I need to clean out my freezer. Some instant oatmeal. I've been making oatmeal a lot in the mornings just as like a healthier option and it's really difficult to find ones that aren't like loaded in sugars. So this one only had one gram of sugar, 100 calories per packet. So I'm just gonna put in a bunch of frozen blueberries in with here to like, in with here, in this to sweeten it up in the morning. Got some frozen mangoes for my smoothies, turkey breasts. I'm gonna make a wrap for lunch today. I got tortillas right here, so I'll probably make a little turkey wrap. I was out of peanut butter, so I tried this new one. It says it's local from Washington. There's one ingredient, peanuts, CB's nuts. CB's nuts? That sounded wrong for a second. And then I got some Oregon Marion Berry jam. I really like mixing this with goat cheese as a snack. It's so good. It's not healthy, but it's good. Oh, this was cool. So this is a Greek yogurt dressing, but I thought this would be good on the turkey wraps or for whatever else. It's jalapeno ranch, but it only has 40 calories in two tablespoons, which is really good for dressing. Got these wasabi and soy sauce almonds, which as a snack. More pickles. Love me some pickles. Some Greek yogurt. We got bananas. Some... Alaskan cod, I think. Yeah, Alaskan cod flavor. But I think we're gonna make for dinner today, so I'll probably put those in the fridge to thaw. Tomatoes for my turkey wraps, and I'm also gonna make these like Mexican bowls. So tomatoes are always good in there. I get a really bad sweet tooth at night sometimes, so I just wanted to get some like healthier options. I have cookies and things right now, so this is healthy for me, but this is 35 calories per cup. 
uh, sea salted caramel popcorn thing. Oh, this was cool. So I like putting whipped cream on my fruit. I think it tastes so much better. Or just like, even on a little bit of oatmeal, it just like adds a little bit of sweetness. And this was zero calorie, right? Oh, 30 calories. No high fructose corn syrup, no trans fat, just like a better version of whipped cream. This is like peak laziness here, but I have to keep things real simple with cooking and eating healthy or else it doesn't happen. So I know this is ridiculous, but I got already cooked eggs. This I've never seen at Safeway and I was super excited about it. They had already cooked roasted shredded turkey. So this will be good for wraps or just like snacking on or whatever. And then they had shrimp, I love shrimp cocktail. This is like a fresh one. Some orange juice, love orange juice in the morning. This one's just the low sugar one. This is what I'm gonna be trying for the Mexican bowls. Usually I use ground turkey, but this is a meatless version. So I figured I'd try that. And then Kerrygold cheese, so good. Frozen blueberries for oatmeal and smoothies. It's out of creamer. I only use this for when I make iced coffee. Um, but my boyfriend likes creamer in his coffee, so I just got sweet cream. These are good when you're trying to have like a lower calorie option for something sweet. Just the low sugar jello. And last thing was just some uh, good old spinach. I put tons of spinach in my smoothies. Just try and stuff spinach wherever because you can't taste it. And you can just put a giant handful in a smoothie and you literally can't even tell you're eating spinach. I'm gonna organize this complete mess of a fridge. Right now I have a call in... 25 minutes. So I'm gonna get that done, get my workout clothes on, have the call, probably go work out, come back, film, work, edit. Maybe I'll work out later. Actually, yeah, I might film first. Uh, yeah, that's what's happening. So this is what I'm putting on the turkey wrap. Got all the goods out. I had some extra white cheddar I didn't realize, so I just cut that up, cut up some red onion. I'm gonna chop this tomato and then put a little spinach in here. And for the sauce, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of the jalapeno ranch sauce and then roll it all up. So a couple online orders just came in, so I figured I would show you guys what I ordered. So this was from Durham Store, and I think I originally, I don't even know what led me here. I think I was originally gonna try this, the DHC, the, whoa, DHC Deep Cleansing Oil, except now I think they're on Ulta. I feel like I saw DHC on Ulta the other day. Apparently this is like one of those cult favorite skincare items. And it's supposed to be a really nice cleansing oil. I am always on the lookout for a new cleansing oil that I love because a lot of them, I don't know if I'm just like extra picky with cleansing oils or what, but a lot of them just don't work out for me. All time favorite one is the Fresh Sea Berry Cleansing Oil. Best oil ever. But we we're gonna try this one. This was pretty affordable too. I think this size was, how much was it, like 18 bucks or something? And then these ones are cotton pads. I wanted to try these instead of my favorite Shiseido ones because these I think were a lot cheaper, so if these are just as good, they're supposed to just be like nice cotton pads that don't pull apart. And then I got a small size of the Ren Ready Steady Glow Daily H A Tonic. I haven't tried anything from Ren skincare before. And then I placed a Glambot order. This is new packaging. I've not seen this Glambot kind of packaging before. I ordered a eyeshadow palette. I don't think I got two things, so I don't even know what this is. So this is what I ordered. I got such a good deal on the Sephora Pro palette. I've never tried this. This one was $35. Glambot is used makeup they sanitize it and everything so that doesn't bug me but bug some people this is the warm one. Oh, it still has the like sealant thing on here with the shades and this looks like barely touched this looks new i've been wanting to try this i just haven't wanted to splurge on it since i don't feel like the shades are like that unique or anything and i have a lot of other shades that are similar to this but i have wanted to try this to see if it's kind of like worth the hype so i might do a video testing this palette and then i didn't order this so i think they just like threw it in. Just so you guys know, you can keep any kind of these samples too and give them to Project Beauty Share. Any of like the travel stuff or stuff you get in hotels or whatever or from your Sephora order, all this stuff can be donated. I'll have their address down below if you want to donate stuff. So I ended up filming, I just wiped off the lip, but I ended up filming a first impressions video. Worked out. About to go pick up my boyfriend. We're gonna make dinner and then we both have some work to do still, so um, that's what's happening. But here's the makeup look. I really like how it turned out. This will be up before this vlog. I think it went up last week by the time you guys are seeing this video. And there were some good things in there, so if you missed it, I will link that video down below. Oh, wait, there you go. You can see the eyeshadow a bit better here. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this. Like, you've never seen this makeup look. It's up right now. Okay, we have a little story time because I got derma planning done today by a professional who, like, Edward scissor-handed my whole face and neck. So basically I had a spa gift card to this place inside of a hotel. So I went there 
got a facial and dermaplaning and I use like facial razors on my face so you know I, I didn't figure it would be like a whole lot different or anything so she's doing it and I start feeling like it definitely felt uncomfortable like I just figured and she used an electric device not like a manual razor so I just figured maybe that one like felt different than what I was used to but then I felt right here when she went right between my nose, I could definitely tell she cut me. She didn't say a word, by the way. I could tell that she cut me because I felt blood dripping down my face and I felt blood dripping a few times, but again, I wasn't sure if that was just like part of the process. She said it was supposed to like get off dead skin and everything, so I don't know, I just didn't really question it because she wasn't she wasn't saying anything to me either about accidentally, you know, cutting my face. So anyways, it kept going. She like put on stuff afterwards and it was stinging and then I went about my day, this was at like 2 o'clock, so I put makeup on because I had to go do things. So I was out all night, just came back home, it's like 10 o'clock now, and I took off my makeup and saw this uh, aftermath happening. Uh, yeah. So I posted on Twitter and learned that this is definitely not normal. At first I was thinking like maybe this just happens with dermaplaning and you guys have confirmed that that is not the case and it goes down my neck too. There's a few that are pretty deep. I'm really hoping that they're not going to scar. These ones are pretty deep and then the ones around my mouth like feel raised. I have weird luck with this shit. A few of you guys on Snapchat told me to just use like CeraVe and really calming stuff like I used when I was on Accutane and use like vitamin E oil and Neosporin and stuff and just not like trying to irritate it because it can get infected. I just don't understand how she didn't say anything. Like if you know that blood is dripping down someone's face and that you cut them, why would she not address it either like during it or afterwards or think that her blade was dull or something? I just don't know how you continue on that whole process. They're closed right now. Like I said, it's 10 o'clock when I got back to the spa, but I'm definitely gonna be calling them in the morning. I hope she's not like chopping other people's faces up. But yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that. All right, so I managed to lose my camera charger somehow. I brought it with me to Portland, so we're just on my iPhone right now. But I just filmed the wrap up video for 15 days of foundation. It's a few days later, so I'll update you guys on the scarring. Obviously I have a full face of makeup on right now, but you can see right there, those raised ones are the cuts. Can't see anything else because I'm wearing a full coverage foundation, but they are a lot more healed you can still see the ones down here a bit but um it's mostly these two that are like raised i can't remember if i said on here or not but the spa was basically really uh not great with their response they are gonna give a full refund but just like the way that she was handling it was not the best so i will still be reporting them to the state board because i just don't want that to happen to anyone else like no one should get cut to that degree when they're going in for dermaplaning that's a little absurd but at least most of them are healing so far so i am going to clean up this mess that i just made this stuff i need to put all this away this is like stuff i've already filmed with or whatever this is the stuff i just filmed with i want to try and edit a video and work out before the bachelor finale starts tonight my body feels like it's starting to get messed up again so i'm not gonna do like an intense one i'm just gonna do legs and skip the upper body stuff i've been making the turkey wrap every day if you wanted an update on that and i'm addicted to it worked out just made a green protein smoothie cheers and i actually have about two hours before the bachelor starts so i'm gonna get to editing so this is the bin where i keep like used stuff that i've tried that is going to be donated to project be sure obviously it's getting pretty full so i'm gonna pack it up i usually just ship in a flat rate box. I don't have the large size, but I have two of the medium, so I'm gonna try and pack everything in here. This is the cheapest way to do it with makeup and like heavy items because it's just flat rate. They don't do it by weight. These are also full. These are like giveaway item things, so I need to get some bags together for friends and family and stuff, and then I might do giveaways too because I am totally out of space down here right now. So that box is Project B Share. I'm getting this stuff ready to send to my grandma. Got her a little Morphe palette in there. I feel like she'll like this uh, pixie case. And then this stuff I put together for a giveaway. So I need to take a photo of this for Instagram. The giveaway is going to be on Instagram. It will probably have already happened by the time this video goes up. So definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram because I'll do another one soon. Change of plan. When this video goes up, I'll have a second giveaway up. So I'm going to post the other one before this vlog goes up. And then right when this video is up, I will do the second giveaway, which will be this one on my Instagram. So you can go head over there. 
but we've got some brushes skincare this vlog is gonna be really random it's like a few days later but i'm trying to make it's the morning i'm trying to make my own um matcha latte i did this a while ago but i haven't tried to like perfect it so i just put in a scoop of matcha powder i don't have the whisker thing for matcha so i'm just gonna use a fork i think i'm gonna try to add a little bit of water first and then put in some of this coconut creamer and if it's not sweet enough i'm gonna add a little bit of the organic valley sweet cream like half and half i'm just adding water so i can like mix the powder a little bit i'm gonna add ice too at the end all right now i'm gonna add in some ice This one is unsweetened, so I'll definitely probably add a little bit of the sweet cream. I definitely just bought this and the seal is broken. Whoops. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to add some almond milk instead. Instead, I'm going to use some unsweetened almond milk. Then I'm going to add in some of the creamer. very matcha -y. definitely not super sweet oh i have these like sweetener drop things hold on i have these stevia vanilla flavored drop things so i'm gonna add some of this in i bought this to actually keep it in my car for adding to like starbucks i think they're really sweet if i'm remembering correctly mm, way better Ooh, that's good okay this definitely makes a world of difference. I don't think this has any calories or anything. I'm pretty sure I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below. This is good now. This tastes like Starbucks. Okay, this is from a hot pack. I woke up at like 4 or 5 a.m. this morning with a migraine, so that's what that's from, but I actually self-tanned last night. I haven't washed off the color guard yet, so I'm looking like pretty orange, but I used the Loving Tan in the shade Medium. Once you rinse off the color guard with this one, it looks a lot more like natural, and I didn't self-tan my face at all. Let's stay. No, it's Today Friday? No, today's Thursday. <laughs> okay, got that nail. <laughs> this is really good. Tomorrow we rented like an Airbnb cabin thing in Bay on Bainbridge Island, which is just a ferry ride across from Seattle. If you can leave the office a little bit early, we're gonna try and leave around like 12 shooting for. I need to run a few errands in the morning, but I need to pack today, get a bunch of work done, fold some laundry, and then this weekend I think I'm gonna put my phone on like airplane mode and not not check social media or anything. It's always nice like it's it's crazy how even if i don't check or try not to check like emails and do work stuff just being on social media since it obviously is part of my job it still feels like you're kind of like working so i just feel like anytime i completely unplug for like a day or two it just totally recharges me so i am going to try and do that this weekend but it should be fun and it's supposed to be like high 60s which is insane right now i'm also gonna try and work out this morning i've been working out every day i can so like every day i feel good enough to i have been working out so i'm proud of myself for that and i'm starting to see like my legs my legs always get toned the fastest and the rest of my body takes longer to like tighten up so i am starting to see some like muscles showing up that i haven't seen in a while on my legs so that's exciting but i've just been doing like a mix of going to the gym and doing the stair master and some like workout machines and then jilly michael's 30 day shred which you can get on amazon that's how i watch it you just buy it one time and things like a dollar 99 and then i just do like random youtube video workouts that i find if I don't feel like I can go to the gym or if I just want like a quick 20 minute thing. So that's what I've been doing. My arms also have been like starting to slim down a little bit. But I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. You guys are basically gonna have vlogs like every other week or every every week pretty much. I do have a lot of sponsored videos coming up. So I just wanted to let you guys know sometimes most of, I mean, 99% of the time you can't control really when like brands have set budgets for set months. So sometimes more come up in a given month than others. And I try and space them out enough, but sometimes they just like, you know, clump together a little. But I turned down literally about 95% of sponsorships. So if I take something on, it's because I genuinely believe in it and it's a brand that I want to recommend to you guys and i have a lot of repeat brands i work with like hellofresh ebates ThreadUp. those are all companies that i love working with and they come back because you guys respond well to them and i use them on my own so it just works out that's like the ideal partnership holding my hand up because my arm is sore <laughs> but i try and do a bonus video if i have a sponsored video going up that week it doesn't work out every single week 
if I'm having like a rougher health period and I can't get an extra video done that week, but I do my best to have four videos a week up if I have a sponsored video going up. So I hope you guys are enjoying the extra vlogs. If you are, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'll have everything I talked about in this vlog or mentioned or whatever linked down below in the description box. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.